terms of revelations this episode provided, the Khmer as space skimp was easily guessed back in episode one by me, but what I appreciate about the official reveal is that it still felt freaking legit and earned. Most of us knew he would be under the helmet, but the way it went down and how the official reveal was shown by having a dead Padawan slink away was brilliant and muted the fact that the reveal wasn't as shocking as many expected. The real mystery now lies with Saul's past, this darkness that Kamir knows he's burying and why he's keeping it hidden. Was Kamir there the night of the Brendock fire and did he see Saul do something or is he just being sithy and trying to twist things? Why does Saul keep saying he will reveal the full truth if he's already told it to Osha in the Order? Have they brainwashed Osha for real? Did the Jedi destroy the Witch Coven in cold blood, or was it a result of discovering their ties to the dark side and or the Sith via the unnatural conception of the twins? Did the Sith, be it Kamir or his actual master, help to destroy the witches too by framing the four Jedi? Hell, were the Sith there just like the Jedi to claim the twins for themselves and then all hell broke loose thanks to Mother Coral siding with the Darksiders? These are the questions that make this show super thrilling to me and why I believe its narrative to be strong even though the serialized reveals may be too slow for some.